Hi everyone, I put all the lanterns I've made so far into this wee video for you. I used four of the 72 block tower block packets. I'm going to use the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue and then I'm going to glue together nine tower blocks in a row. And then I'm going to glue on seven and I'm going to keep going up until I get to three tower blocks and I just make sure that I wipe off any excess glue and the end one was too long you can see that it's a little bit longer so I decided to swap it out for a shorter one because you know the tower blocks, none of them are the same. The same. Um, I'm laughing at my hair. <laughs> none of them are the same size. So I made eight of them, and then now next I make a square, and it's going to be nine blocks across and three blocks high. So you need to twenty-seven blocks for this, and I make two of them. But I do the other one off camera. And there they are and then I take four of the things that I made before <laughs> and then I just glue one tower block to the, the middle of the top of each of them and then once they've dried I just start gluing these around one of the squares that I made <laughs> and um, you can use some hot glue if you want as well to make it stick and then they won't fall over but my hot glue wasn't gun wasn't on so <laughs> uh, just using some paint bottles to prop it up and then I'm using these little cubes the wooden cubes from Dollar Tree to put in the corners So I put one in each corner and that helps hold it together and you could always hot glue those little blocks on and it would be better. <laughs> I would hold it fast and then I just did the other side and I just did the same thing and you can use tower blocks instead of the wee cubes if you don't have them I do use tower blocks as well as you'll see in the next clip because the those cubes weren't holding it enough <laughs> maybe because it was still wet and I'm too impatient to let it dry properly Okay, so here I decided to put the tower blocks in and just line them flat so that you won't see them um, when you're looking at it. <laughs> so I put them on the on both sides. I uh, put two on each side on the top part and the bottom part. And then I just put some hot, hot glue. <laughs> I put some wood glue in the middle tower block on each of these, and then I put this on top. And I didn't want to wait till it completely set if, to do this, so that I could pull it and make sure that the blocks were going to be flush. <laughs> and then I had to keep pulling on it and like holding it until the glue set. And I, I used the Jacobean wood stain by Minwax 
and you could stain the two halves if you wanted to but I didn't want it to dry and not be able to glue it together and this is what it looks like when it's finished and I added a little um, wooden bead on the middle of each of the one block by itself I decided to do that after I stained it and then I just I didn't have any long candles so I used a candlestick and put some greenery in there you need four of the 72 block tower block packs for this next DIY I'm using the Dollar Tree super glue wood glue I am going to glue together nine tower blocks in a row and I'm just doing the same basically the opposite way of the first um, lantern that I did And then I just glue in up the way. So it's basically the same pattern but the opposite way around. <laughs> so instead of this one will have corners like the corner edges and then the cutout will be in the middle instead of on the corners. And I always just keep wiping the glue away because it shows up when you stain it. So I just turn the ruler around and then I just do the exact same thing on the other side. I was going to make a third version of this lantern where you have the blocks go in. I don't know how to explain this. In the way so the middle ones will meet and then the cut out bits cut, cut out cut out bits <laughs> will be at the top and the bottom corners so maybe i'll make that let me know if you want me to make that one <laughs> but i didn't want to keep doing the same kind of thing over and over again in the video so i made four of these And here they are and I decided to glue on some of these half beads so this is where I decided to place them and then I just glue them on with the wood glue and if you wanted to you could attach some canvas or some material or something to the back of this it doesn't have to be open that would look nice there's like different things that you could do I just thought of them but I didn't have time to do them <laughs> but if you want to make it you could always do that and then you don't have to put the half beads on if you don't want to and you can also stain them and paint them any color you like I think they would look nice with the Waverly antique wax I chose the Jacobean wood stain because you can just slap it on and wipe it off. <laughs> it's much quicker, although it does take longer to dry. And then I'm just making another square like the last time and with 27 blocks and 9 across and 3 high and I didn't put a top on this because it would make it easier to, to put candles and stuff in but you can make a top for yours if you want to. And then I'm just going to glue them all together and I'm going to use the wee cubes and the tower blocks to hold it together like I did the last time. And I used some of the some of the cubes at the top and just uh, like a two inches down from that but you can't really can't see on the camera. <laughs> But just put them where you, they won't be too noticeable, but they will hold it together. I do move it so that you can see where I put it at the top.
So yeah, if you use hot glue for these parts, it would hold together quicker and then you wouldn't have to wait for it all to dry. Well, the cube parts. So I put one in each corner at the top here and then I put it at the bottom of the second block down. I put another one there on each each corner. And then I put the tumble tower blocks in the bottom just the same way as I did for the last lantern. And sometimes with this glue you just have to hold it together just until it sets. So then I decided to put these bamboo skewers from Walmart in the corners. Uh, if I had the thicker dowel rods, wooden dowel rods, I would have put those in it. But these worked out good. So I just measured it, cut it and then uh, glued it in place. And I did that for each corner off camera. And then I stained it all with the Jacobean would stay in it by Minwax and this is how it turned out I just put, I don't have any tall candles so I just put it on a wee candle holder so you guys could see what it would look like and I really love how this turned out let me know what you guys think down in the comments for this last DIY you only need one pack of the 72 block tower blocks and I'm using the Dollar Tree Sip Glue Wood Glue again and I'm just going to glue together 8 blocks in a square and I make 7 of these and for the last, or for the bottom I make another square but I fill it in with the rest of the blocks So it fits like this and then there's like a wee square cut out in the very middle. So it should look like this. And then I have some square beads from the new Shore Living Garlands from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to glue one in each corner. But I'm going to glue them diagonally with the holes facing in the way. <laughs> I'm going to show you in a second what way the holes have to face. So it looks like that because I'm going to thread some twine through them. But. <laughs> My um, memory card for my camera decided it needed formatted and I lost the footage of me putting the twine through but it's an easy step anyway. So I just keep building this up like that and make sure that you put all the beads on the right way because I was rushing it and messed up a couple of them. <laughs> And I'm not sure how many beads I used, I'd have to count them. <laughs> um, but you can make this as tall as you like, you don't even have to make it as tall as this, it's up to you. And you probably be better off staining them before you glued the beads on, staining everything first. If you are using the antique wax, it would make it much easier. <laughs> So I just put the last layer on and then those other four beads are for the bottom.
For the bottom beads, I glue them with the hole facing um, on the bottom so that you won't see it because these are the wee feet. And then I stained it all with the Jacobean Minwax wood stain. And this is what it looks like with the twine in it. <laughs> Sorry that I couldn't show you that part, but it's pretty easy. Just thread it through and then tie it and that's it. <laughs> Here I have four cold spins and I'm just taking them all apart and then using the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue I'm going to glue them together and I'm going to glue two with the flat sides facing each other and then I'm going to glue those uh, together with the next one with the flat side on either end of that kind of round bit and I glued the wee beads on them and I made eight of these but you could make more if you wanted to I <laughs> uh, can put like three on each side and then you've seen me do this before with the tower blocks to make the lan lanterns <laughs> And since there's a wee hole in the base, you could always don't stick the feet on, and then you could make you could put, uh, you know, you get the light bulb with the cable, and you could make it like a hanging lamp. You could do that with all of them. So yeah, just glue the box together like this. And then I have four beads and I stain it with the Warren Navy Wood Stain by Varathane. And then I'm just using some wood glue, <laughs> forgot what it was called, and a wee bit of the hot glue to glue the pieces on because it's only a small part that's going to be stick into the base and the top and yeah you could put three on each side if you wanted to I don't know why I don't like corner pieces on my lanterns <laughs> but I just do the same on the top of the bottom oh and this time I left the stain on to soak for about 20 minutes or something before I went and wiped it off because I was doing something so it's a bit darker and one of the pieces uh, somehow I got Jacobian wood stain on it <laughs> I don't know how I managed that but anyway I'll just show me doing a couple of sides and then I'll do the next one after this one off camera Well, and make sure they are all facing the same way well unless you want them to be opposite <laughs> and then I, I glued the feet on the wee half beads and this is how it turned out you can also put some greenery or something if you want it if you want to and you can also paint or stain it any color you like but let me know in the comments down below which of these DIYs is your favourite and which colours would you pick. You need four clothes pins for this piece and just take them apart. And then, yeah, you should check them and see if they are all the same size because sometimes you'll get one side is really short, which is weird. <laughs> So yeah, I started checking them all. So I'm gluing two together with the flat sides and then I am gluing the two flat sides like this. Oh, but the skinny side is facing in. <laughs> and then I am gluing another piece on the top. 
and then you're supposed to let it set but I don't have time for that <laughs> and then I just glue the next piece on the other side and then I glued on two of the half beads and I have this hexagon from Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing some beads onto that I didn't take enough out of the bag <laughs> So I had to go and get some more and you could use a round piece of wood for this or you could make the base in that like the last DIY. I had this piece of wood so I thought I would use it up and you don't have to put the half beads on it. <laughs> and I didn't show it yet but I made six of those pieces but you could make more if you wanted to and I stained them with a Jacobean wood stain and then here I'm just using some wood glue and some hot glue and gluing one in the middle of each side and at this point this is as far as I'd thought through this DIY I wasn't sure how I was going to finish it off but I figured it out the next day <laughs> So yeah, you could always put two on each side if you wanted to instead of the wee beads. If I had put maybe two of these on each side then I would have left the top open because that was my plan but I don't know, it didn't look right. But if I had two on each side then I would maybe do that. That one didn't want to stick. <laughs> and then I didn't say, did I say that I um, don't know what I'm saying? <laughs> that I stained six of the half beads for feet. And then I decided to use some popsicle sticks for the top so I'm just tracing around the bottom so I can get the same shape and then I'm gonna use measure the popsicle sticks and then cut them at an angle and this looked like it worked and um, they fit perfect after I'd cut them but after I stained them I must have mixed up mixed them up but they didn't um, fit together properly but fixed it <laughs> so yeah I just traced them all thought they were all the same <laughs> and I just traced them and then cut them out and I just used scissors and they cut straight through them so then I just fit them together and it worked out good <laughs> And then I stained them with the same Jacobean wood stain. I'm still fiddling around here. So I just used my template that I made earlier and I'm going to glue the pieces together. At this time they don't fit together as well. <laughs> and I end up trimming a bit, which well, it worked out fine. And then I glued on the half beads and then I stained them after. And you had to put these on, not just because I love them, but to cover up the gaps on this piece. And then 
I just put some of the wood glue on five of them and then I put hot glue on one just to keep it in place. You could hot glue them all if you wanted to. I did um, hot glue the other side just to make it more secure and then this is how it turned out and I think it turned out nice. <laughs> But I would definitely do two on each side if I was going to make it again. And for this last DIY, I'm going to use two more tower block, 72 block tower block packets. <laughs> and then I'm using the super glue wig glue again. And then I'm just going to make a square with eight tower blocks and this is for the top of the lantern and then I'm going to make another square and this is for the bottom so just make the same and then I fill it in I probably should have made the middle part first <laughs> I messed it up there. <laughs> anyway, so this is what it should look like. And one of my tower blocks is a little bit short, so I just moved it along a little bit because once it's all glued together, you won't even notice the tiny wee space. And then I made a row of tower blocks that were. I was going to do more but I decided on six and then I made 16 of these I know it's a lot and then I decided to glue on the little half beads and I did four different sizes and the biggest one in the middle going out to the smallest one and then I'm going to stain it all with the Waverly Antique Wax because it would just be too hard to stain it all once it was put together, even though I would prefer to do that. And then I added on some of the bigger half beads for feet on the bottom. And then I'm just going to start by gluing it to the top and I'm just going to glue four to each side. And I'm going to use a tower block to uh, make sure it's evenly spaced. And I shouldn't have put the feet on yet, it would have been easier, <laughs> but I did so it's up to you if you want to put them on before you stain it or if you want to stain it after. And I would do one side at a time, I was in a hurry so I was trying to do two sides. And you could put the wee um, cubes behind these if you wanted to, but I didn't bother. <laughs> so I left that to set. So once that had dried, I glued on the bottom. I just had to hold it in place and then for the side because I had decided to do two sides at once when I glued it on I just spaced it with a tower block between each of the pieces and then left it to dry had I not put the feet on it would have been easier I think <laughs> And once that was dry, I could just take the tower blocks out and then I just glued on the other two sides and it was much easier this time because <laughs> I could just glue them on top 
So I just did this one side and then I left it to dry and then I glued the next side. I'll do the last side off camera. And this is how it turned out and I uh, didn't get it on camera but it looks really nice when the lights are down and the candle is on. So uh, I'm gonna take another video of that and I'll put it on my Instagram if it turns out right. <laughs> and you just need one pack of 72 block tower blocks for this lantern that I'm making and some wood glue and then I'm just making a square this is like the same base as the lantern I did in the last video and these are the last two lanterns I'm gonna do <laughs> but I just had ideas for for them so I had to make them So I adjust the glue them in a wee square like this and then glue the other ones around the outside. And then I make in this shape <laughs> and I'm just gluing them all together uh, in this shape. <laughs> and then I made four of those. Oh, I forgot to say. I made two of the square that doesn't have a middle in it because I was originally not going to make one and then I decided to and then I'm gluing on some half beads to make wee feet and then I stain it with the, I don't stain it, I paint it with the Waverly ink chalk paint and then I just want to glue it together so I just lay one piece down and then I glue the top, the middle and the base on and then I glue another piece on the top I'm always wiping off the glue but with the paint you can always go back in and paint over if there's any glue showing which you can't do with the stain and then I just put a bottle of paint on the top until it's set and then I turned it over and I just did the same thing again I did this side and then I'll do the last side off camera And I love how this turned out. It's just so simple. You could paint it any colour you like. You could add stuff to it. You could add the hat beads, whatever you want. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And this last DIY, you need one of the 72 block tower block packs. <laughs> and I'm going to use the wood glue again and I'm going to glue together eight tower blocks like this and I made four of those and then I'm gonna make the base and the top 
just like I did in the last DIY and I wasn't going to show it again but I didn't want anybody to get confused uh, or me missing out a step so just the same thing again putting the gluing the blocks together do you guys want more lanterns? let me know what you want <laughs> I could probably come up with some more lantern designs but I'm gonna make another tower block video for Sunday and then I don't think I'll do tower blocks for a while and I know I've still got to finish off the letters I just don't want to <laughs> I'm so good in the letters I will get it finished eventually it's just not they're not fun anymore <laughs> So sorry. And um, yeah, just using the half beads and I'll link them down below as well. And then I paint it with the Waverly Ink Chalk paint. And here's all the pieces. And I just slew it together. Just like the last one, I put one down and then well one piece down and then I attach the the base and the top. And then I put another piece on top. And then when that's dry, I turn it round so that I can do the same thing again. And I have some more of, well, this is a different metal ribbon and I wanted to uh, wrap it around this lantern so I just measure from the top if I curl it over and go all the way under the bottom to the other side how much I'll need and then obviously I'll need two of them and you could cut it at the bottom if you wanted but I thought it would be better to secure it because it's hard to glue it on because obviously there's like lots of cut out pieces so I just get some of the Dollar Tree fix all and I put it in the middle of well the middle of the little design like those little oval part I just don't want the glue to show through so I have these clips from Dollar Tree the wee ones I only have two wee ones, I don't know where the rest are <laughs> and then I have the big ones so I just put a little bit of the fix-all glue on each of those little ovals and I press it down and then I hold it with these clips and try and fold it over tight, it's kind of hard but then I use hot glue for the bottom because you're not going to see that <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it comes out and I found one of these I know I had them but <laughs> the finger protectors where? I don't know where, what was I looking through? I don't know, it was in some random place <laughs> And then I just do the same on the other side. And uh, the, the metal ribbon is pretty, but it's hard to work with. So <laughs> I don't know how many DIYs I'm going to be doing with that. And then just curl it over the top again and then just clip it on. And then I left that to dry and then I did the other side off camera and this is how it turned out and it turned out really pretty in the end but yeah it is hard to work with so but anyway let me know what you guys think so you just need one of the 72 Block packs of tower blocks for this DIY 
And as always, I'm using the Dollar Tree super glue with glue. And then I've shown you how to make this base for the lamp and the top on the last couple of videos. So I'm just doing the same thing again. I just glue in eight blocks into a square and then another eight blocks into a square. <laughs> And then glue in eight blocks around that square. After this video, I think I'll take a couple of weeks break for the tower blocks. But I do have a couple more um, DIYs in my head that I will do. And then I will finish off the alphabet. <laughs> the tower block letter planter, planters <laughs> that I made. I'll finish off the letters that I still have to do. For the next bit you need 12 blocks and then I just glue them together in pairs, four pairs, and then once they've set up a little bit I will put them into the shape I'm going to make. So I just put that one in the very middle of the two blocks and then I use a block to measure and make sure that that middle block sticking down is a tower block down, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then I stained it with the worn navy varathane wood stain. And now I'm just going to put some wee feet on the bottom with the wee half beads and on the them below as always. And then I start putting the lantern together. So I just glue it at the top and the bottom and then I glue another piece. I measure it, or well, not measuring it, I'm making sure that the sides are in line with each other <laughs> and then I glue another one on the top and then once that's set I move on and do the next two sides and then I just leave them to dry then I decided I liked how the unfinished wood feet looked so I decided to put some beads on each side and then off camera I added uh, one of the little uh, wooden cubes to behind well, in, you can see what I've included <laughs> and then I stained them off camera and this is how it turned out and I don't usually like unfinished wood, but I do like how it looks with the blue stain. But you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, for this first DIY, you need one of the 72 block tower block packs and some wood glue. And this is the Dollar Tree Sip Glue Wood Glue. And the first block, I don't glue. And then the third block I don't glue because those are just to space it out so that you can fit the blocks in properly and then you just have to glue it in the pattern that I'm doing, I don't know how to explain it. So you will use 15 blocks to make this panel and this one was easy to make, I didn't take too long at all. And then you just take out those two that you didn't glue and I made four of these. Next I make the other parts of the lantern and you've seen me do this before for previous lanterns. <laughs> but this time I decided to put it on a wee stand so I'm just gonna make 
the base and of the very bottom of the lamp and then the base of the lantern part. And you don't have to make a stand for it if you don't want to. Now I'm just making a square for the top of the lantern. So I want to fill in the wee square holes in the middle so I'm just marking what size it will be and then I'm going to cut it down with my saw. And I'm going to do that for both of the holes. And the first one didn't fit when I pushed it in so make sure that you can push it in and it fits before you cut it down. And then I just glued it in place and wiped away any excess glue. So I was just deciding how tall I wanted to make it and I decided on just making it two power lower, <laughs> two thermal blocks tall and then I doubled it up. <laughs> And this is when I decided I wanted to make the base larger. So I just glued the tower blocks around the outside of it. And then I glued this piece on to the base. And I stained it all with some Waverly Antique Wax. And here's all my pieces. And then I just start gluing them together. So I glue a side on the top and the bottom and then I leave that to dry. And then once it's dry, I do the other sides. And then once that's dry, I glued the base. I was deciding which. <laughs> which side I wanted to be the front. And this is how it turned out. I just thought I would switch up a bit and make a base. And I love how it turned out. Remember you can make yours any colour you want and you don't even have to put the base on it if you don't want to. I already glued together three sets of four tower blocks and then three sets of twelve tower blocks and I glued them in the opposite direction and you could do three, I mean four sets of twelve tower blocks if you wanted to but I wanted to have the long edge and the long side um, showing around the outside of the square instead of having the little end showing. So for the next layer I am just measuring where I want to cut the tower blocks and then and then I cut them down with the little saw and I will leave a link down below if you're interested. It's quite handy. Handy to have especially if you want to make these DIYs. <laughs> 
So then I just cut it, cut the blocks down and then I keep putting them together in a square and you can slow down the video or you could pause it when I finish the square so you can see how I laid out the blocks. And I did do this um, in my last tower block video but for this DIY I'm only going to do four layers. And then I'm just doing the same thing for the next layer. And this layer was easy because I didn't have to cut down the blocks. Well, I can't remember if I said, but I would took two of the 72 block packs of tower blocks <laughs> to make this DIY. And for the video, for everything in the video, I used seven packs, I think seven packs, but this DIY, I use it to make the next DIY as well. So you would need another two packets if you wanted to make them all. And then this is the last layer. And just make sure you wipe off any excess glue because you don't want to have that showing when you paint it or stain it. Then I made four of these and they are 12 blocks. So I just glue six of them in a row and then another six and then I glue those two rows together. And you can choose to make this part longer or shorter, it's up to you. After the glue set, I took the pieces and then I started gluing them together. I'm going from the biggest one to the smallest one and just try and get an equal space around the outside of each one. Yeah, so it looks like a step pattern. And I made two of these and I'm going to stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax but you can use any colour that you like. And then I have these two pieces of wood from Dollar Tree and then this little knob that was off something else. <laughs> and then I stained them with the Waverly Antique Wax. So now I'm just going to put it together but I'm only going to put the glue on this bottom part because I am going to use this DIY to make the next DIY and I'm just gluing, yeah, just gluing this bottom part and then I'm going to put the top part on and the little wooden squares and knob I'm just going to place them on top so to show you what it looks like but because I'm not going to use the knob and stuff in the next DIY, I'm not going to glue them down. <laughs> and I think it turned out so pretty. I've wanted to make a lantern for a while. So I see that everybody likes them on YouTube. <laughs> so I thought it would look nice with the step pattern and I'm really pleased how it turned out. You guys can let me know what you think. Go to your trees with. So I have two of these Dream for Fear signs and I have some pony beads and I set them out in little bowls, same bowls, <laughs> um, for I put 30 in each bowl and then I have three skewers, did I say that already? I don't know. And then I have six other pony beads and I'm just gluing one to each corner of these two signs. Next I take one pony bead and then I put a wee bit of hot glue in the middle and then I stick the skewer in it and then I hold the skewer and then I start putting all the beads except for one which I put to the side there on top 
What on a skewer on top of where my fingers are. And then I just hot glue a wee bit at a time and push the pony beads down. And if you get any hot glue seeping out, then you can just pick it off once it dries. So once I glued all those beads, I cut the skewer down and then I put some hot glue on it and I made sure the skewer wasn't going to be any longer than the last pony bead. And then I glued all three of these, and one in each corner. And I just used some hot glue, but you can use something stronger if you want to. That one didn't want to stick. And then once those were, the glue has set, I just hot glue the ends and then I stick it to the other um, triangle sign. <laughs> And you could take the other label off if you want, but I didn't bother because it's going to be underneath, you're not going to see it. And then I spray painted it with this Rust-Oleum white spray paint. And I didn't really like how it looked, so I went over it with some white Waverly chalk paint. And I found these Lotus pictures on Cricut Design Space, so I printed off one for the top and one for the bottom. And then I found this lotus border, so I printed off six of them and I trimmed it down. And then I just stuck one to each side. And I won't show you me doing them all, I'll do the rest off camera. And this is how it turned out, I think it turned out really nice. I didn't have anything to put in it so I just put one of these candle holders I made previously and let me know So I had four of these
That's a bonus. I seen this land earn and it's pretty boring like this, but I knew that I could do something with it, so I picked it up. I'm gonna take some craft sticks, I think I got these ones at Walmart, and I'm just gonna line them up with the rectangular part of the frame, I trim them, and then glue them together, but not to the frame. And I'm going to make four of these and then I'm going to stain them with the Waverly Antique Wax.
I traced the shape of the top of the lantern on some paper and then cut it out. I got these skewers in Dollar Tree and I just lined them up and taped them in place and then I trace around the paper but make it a little bigger than what the paper is because I had to make it again because um, they were too small so just remember that if you want to make this. I cut down some craft sticks and hot glue them to the skewers to keep them all together. I'm going to use this wee lamp I got in 5 below for just now to light the lantern but I will make a hole in it um, either on the bottom or through one of the craft sticks if I find a electric lamp or something like that to put in it and I'm just going to close the back panel over and I'm not going to hot glue it in place so that I can open it and then when 
I do find the proper lamp fixture for this. I will glue it in place then. Oh, I love this. This is what it looks like in the light. And this is what it looks like in the night time. And it's so pretty. And um, what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you soon.